नाउ लेटेस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रिंग बफर क्लास वर्सेस स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर क्लास टोटली देर आर सिक्स पॉइंट्स आर देर हियर लेट एस सी द सिक्स पॉइंट्स वन बाय वन फर्स्ट पॉइंट स्ट्रिंग बफर क्लास इज अवेलेबल इन लैंग पैकेज वी नो दैट लैंग स्टैंड फॉर लैंग्वेज पैकेज लाइक वाइज स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर क्लास इज आलो अवेलेबल इन लैंग पैकेज नेक्स्ट पॉइंट स्ट्रिंग बफर क्लास इज यूज टू क्रिएट म्यूटबुल स्ट्रिंग्स और म्यूटबुल ऑब्जेक्ट्स वी नो दैट वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स फर्स्ट वन इज म्यूटबुल स्ट्रिंग्स और म्यूटबुल ऑब्जेक्ट्स सेकेंड वन इज immutable strings or immutable objects we use a string class to create immutable objects whereas string buffer class and string builder class to create mutable objects so here mutable means we can change the content of the string let here let we have a string like this sb let name of the string is sb let it contain some ram let here address the it address it points to the address 1000 now here in 1000 like location we can modify the content of the string we can change this content to ram babu so now the same reference variable sb get address 1000 containing ram babu so that is about mutable so with the help of string buffer and string builder we can create the mutable strings mutable objects so we can modify the content of the string whereas if you take string class then it is useful in order to create immutable objects let here and let here name of the string is reference variable is s let here the content is ram let the address is 1000 let s is string class object now it is not possible to modify the content of s yet 1000 location it is not possible to change the content if we want we can change this content and store this content in another string okay if we want change this content but instead of yes we have to give some other name instead of yes we have to use some other string but yet yes it is not possible to change content of the string class object okay so that is the point here string builder it is also useful in order to create mutable strings are mutable objects okay so with the help of both string buffer and string builder we can create mutable strings or mutable objects so mutable means we can change the content of the string at that location only so at, at that location only we can change the content next let's see the next point string buffer it is thread safe so thread safe means here the methods are synchronized so let's see what is synchronization synchronization means multiple threads can access the string buffer object simultaneously so what is synchronization multiple threads can access the string buffer object simultaneously so what is a thread thread is nothing but a small task it may be small function we can call thread as a small function so that is the point we can use string buffer object in while implementing the synchronization so that is in multi threaded environment we can use the string buffer object let's see here string builder it is not thread safe so that means here methods are unsynchronized here in string buffer methods are synchronized so we can implement we can use that in multi threads but here methods are unsynchronized 
so it is not possible to use string builder object in multi threads so multiple threads cannot access the string string builder object simultaneously only one thread can access the string builder object let's see the next point this string buffer class object is used in multi threaded environment so we can use string buffer object in multi threaded environment so that means multiple threads can access the string buffer object but if multiple threads access that object simultaneously then it may produces wrong results inconsistency results so that's why first one thread will access the string buffer class object so after execution is over then the second thread will access string buffer class object and the corresponding task will be performed so we can use string buffer class object multi in multi threaded environment so multi threaded environment means multiple threads can access the string buffer object but if multiple threads access this object simultaneously then it may produces inconsistency wrong results so that's why thread by thread execution is rf so that means first thread will access string buffer class object and it performs its task after execution is over then second thread will access the string buffer class object and uh, the task execution will be performed now let's see the next point string builder it is used in single threaded environment so here uh, string builder class object it is not thread safe so here there is no synchronization so only one thread can access string builder object but here multiple threads can access the string buffer class object simultaneously there is no problem but it may produce wrong results next fifth one string buffer class this object is slower due to the synchronization why because here multiple threads are accessing the string buffer class object so here the process will be slower why because we have multiple threads multiple threads need to perform their task so we can say that here the process is slower whereas coming to this one string builder means we are using only single threaded environment so only one thread is accessing the string builder class object so we can say that it is faster when compared with string buffer why because here there are multiple threads are there so there will be more time but here we have only one thread so it is very very faster next one use string buffer if multiple threads are modifying the same string so when multiple threads wants to modify the content of the string simultaneously then it is better to use string buffer class object whereas use string builder in single threaded environment and for better performance so we have to use string buffer class object in multi threaded environment but we should not bother about the performance suppose if we want to use in single threaded environment as well as we want to have better performance then use string builder object so this is about string buffer versus string builder 